Why play Olaf top? Well, he has a very good early game and an amazing mid game. He's one of the only champions in the game that can't be CC'd. He brings a huge amount of damage and he has great 1v2 potential. However, he does fall off late game and he can struggle against high mobility. Olaf's passive grants him attack speed and lifesteal, gaining more of each the lower health he gets. Olaf's Q throws an axe as a straight line skill shot. It deals damage and slows everything it passes through. In addition, champions hit will lose some armor. Also, Olaf can pick up the axe to refund most of its cooldown. Olaf's W grants attack speed for 4 seconds and a shield which will increase in size depending on his missing health. Olaf's E is a targeted ability which will deal a chunk of true damage. This ability costs a small amount of health to use rather than mana, however if you do kill the target with it you get your health back. In addition, the cooldown of this ability is reduced every time you auto attack. Olaf's ultimate firstly has a passive which grants him armor and magic resist. The active cleanses all CC effects and Olaf becomes immune to CC effects for 3 seconds. However, hitting a champion with auto attacks or your E extends the duration of this allowing it to be used for a very long time. Also, when initially ulting, Olaf gets a burst of movement speed towards an enemy champion. For masteries, take this, it lets you run people down. For build order, start Blade and Pot or Corrupting Potion. Follow this up with Triforce, Tier 2 Boots and Death Dance. After this, Sterax and Morb Mamortius are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these. For skill order, start Q, then E, then W, before maxing Q, then E, then W, taking Alt whenever you can. For summoners, take Ghost Flash or Ghost Ignite. Entering the lane phase, you're looking to farm up while poking as often as possible with Q. You want to make sure the lane is pushed towards you. This is so when your opponent has been poked down enough, you have enough room to run them down. Very few champions can survive an Olaf running at them with his attack speed, life steal, shields, speed ups and infinite Qs. So often their only safety is their tower and the longer they have to run the higher the chance you get the kill. So make sure to keep bullying with Qs as often as possible and if they go to farm feel free to auto attack into an E, it is a chunk of damage very quickly. A good way to get this poke out, especially against matchups that want to bully you, is to establish brush control early. Your axes from brushes are far more difficult to dodge and it's hard to trade back onto you without taking your autos, E's and axes to the face and putting yourself at a high risk of being run down. Entering the mid game, Olaf is an absolute monster. You're so strong at this part in the game that you want to take most fights you can, so look to split push and run down towers as fast as possible and force a response. If their team doesn't respond to you, you get free towers, and if they do, your team gets free objectives. In addition, as Olaf can't be CC'd while in his ultimate, it makes tower diving easy, so run down anyone that comes to stop you. And if they send multiple to stop you, focus down the squishiest champion first before turning and melting the next one. Entering the late game team fight, you're looking to rush onto the ADC and smash them dead. Feel free to ghost or flash on them. It is your job to to explode them as soon as possible. As an Olaf, there's no real way to stop you as you can't be CC'd and you constantly slow their ADC. So what this does is it forces their team to try and kill you before you kill their carry. And by itself, this is usually pretty good because it protects your carries as nothing's coming towards them. After you've dived their back line, hopefully you've killed their carry and now you're just playing cleanup duties. A general tip when entering the late game fight is to put a high priority on your ghost. Having ghost is what enables you to sprint onto their back line, unable to be CC'd and destroy their carry.